Okay, good morning, everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. You might see it a little bit out of out of out of whack, and I am cleaning today. I'm also dead tired, but I won't. We won't get in there. This is going to be the grand unveil of the kitchen as my furniture has arrived. It's been here for about the last half an hour. It arrived right on schedule. They were great texting me and stuff. So what you're seeing is I'm going to do a kind of a walking tour of the kitchen, but you guys know the layout. All the new paint, the new lights, those are above the island, which is right here. Refrigerator, toaster oven. I put a blender in between the refrigerator and, um, oops, sorry, Shadow Honey. I put my blender right there. So my blender is now away. Of course, they got the bread machine I don't know why I have a can of air sitting in the kitchen, but that's going to move spoons, stuff like that. Um, TRE, I can't say it, but these are doggy stuff. Then the stove, you've got my um, food saver, the coffee maker that eventually will be replaced with a much bit better one. Of course, you hear the mouthpiece, the sink. And then you've got the um, little countertop that has the knives, the basil, paper towels, and then, of course, my soaps. So, now that we've done that side, now for what you guys have been waiting for. And I am going to not do that quite yet. Edward, stop. I'm going to say, it was snowing earlier today, and we're supposed to get even more snow this afternoon. But the temperatures are hovering in the 30s right now, so it is a cold day right here. So I'm going to flip you guys around and introduce you to the new table and chair set. And I'm excited to do this because it is here and there it is. I'm going to move you guys. Come. So that's the new table and the new chairs and it fits nicely with the hutch. Now I said the table was black. Now this thing that you're seeing underneath, I'm going to hold you kind of close and maybe if I, nope, I have to move you guys way back. Okay, so there we go. This white thing that you're seeing underneath is uh, Grandma's um, stand mixer. I was able to whitt whittle it under. I had to tip it to get it to fit, but at least now it's in the place. So now when I do filming, and I'm going to kind of bring you guys over, sorry, you're Moving so you, this is the new table with the new high back chairs, and it is the tall table. Um, and I have my new placemats on it, and of course the hutch is directly behind it. I reorganized the hutch, so now we have all of my um, tea, coffee, sugar, and flour. And then I put some of the cookbooks on top that I don't use. Well, I do use a couple of those regularly, but. Those are the cookbooks. I have more cookbooks down here that I do use more often. Then, of course, I have my food processor followed by my stand mixer over there. I have a cutting board in back. You'll notice all of the clutter now is gone from behind there. Uh, there are olive oil bottles that are hiding right here. I'm going to set you guys on the table for now because now you guys are going to get a good spot when I film certain things and I can use the chairs for filming. As a matter of fact, while I'm here, I'm going to sit down and you're going to be able to see the kitchen in all its glory. So the first impression with this new table and chairs that I had was, oh my God, what did I do? It, it's really, really big and I didn't expect it to be this big. But the more I'm, I'm getting used to it, I'm like going, this is a perfect size for the dinner parties that I want to host on the smaller side. Of course, behind me, uh, yeah, over there, is the dining room so I can host the more formal events in there. I still need to clean off the table in there, but I'm not going to do that necessarily today. I'm going to take the rest of the day off to rest. And I'll be working on that probably tomorrow. And maybe um, 
somewhat Thursday. Don't forget Tuesdays and Thursdays, although today's an exception. Thursdays, I do, I'm not doing any filming because I'm, I'm too busy on Thursdays with the pantry and everything. So, leave me a comment down below and tell me what you guys think of the new table and chairs. It's going to take me a while to get used to having them. Um, I have obviously always had table and chairs in the kitchen up until about a month and a half ago when we moved everything out so we could paint. But I'm really, really happy with, with how the kitchen project turned out. I think it looks really nice. It looks elegant. Um, the mess that you're seeing up above the refrigerator, that's slowly going to dissipate. Most of that's flour and sugar, some coffee and some bags that we use in our everyday situation in the kitchen and those will slowly be moving in different positions um i just don't have a place for those right now where it's easy access to get to and i don't want to clutter the table so i'm having my coffee so i think i will now do um i'm gonna bring the chairs in I'm going to slide you guys over so you guys can get a fuller picture of the kitchen now that it's, it's uh, done there. And those are the chairs, and they are high back. And so you get a kind of a feel for it. This actually does come almost to the, to the height of, of the um, countertop. It might be a smidge, that might be a smidge higher, but... You'll be able to see things over there. And it'll look really, really nice once everything is in, in place. I'm going to bring you guys in the living room. And I know on the video that you saw on um, Tuesday. And by the way, today is Halloween. Just so you guys know, I forgot to mention. It is it is Tuesday the 31st. Um, my husband did put a lot more covers on the couch and, and that's just for the dogs again the eggplants i have not officially decided but they're not staying for by christmas they will be gone um i did move my chair a little bit closer to the lamp to give us more of an area of entering the uh, living room and one of my dogs made a little mess down there, but we don't, like I said, I don't scold them. And I did forget to say one thing yesterday when I said I did, I washed all of the draperies and the shears. And I also washed all of the windows in the living room. The only windows I have left to do are these in the dining room, and I need to do the curtains as well in the dining room, but I'm not doing that today. Um, those will get done definitely before Christmas because Christmas time we, we are going to have family over, and I want my dining room looking nice. So now I'm going to take you guys downstairs. I got to be careful because my husband does have the TV on, and... What he's watching is copyrighted. Of course, you see the mouthpiece. So I'm going to turn the lights on down here. And you can see, well, this is from years of rubbing against it. Um, this is the family room. So this will be the next big room to do, but that's not happening this year. But there is the new couch. And already I've got two dogs on it. And it's a really nice couch. I'm going to put you guys down here. And this is a reclining couch. It does have electric. Um, and they kind of move it a little bit. But it does recline. And I'll show, show you how this, this goes. So it is a recliner with a back. Yeah, I know. You're, you're not sure what, what's going on, Colin. Yeah, so my husband just has a... Um, old comforter covering it just so that the dogs aren't aren't um getting caught underneath it and marking but that's the new sofa that we had delivered today um downstairs so 
Now that you guys have seen the grand unveil for the two rooms, I hope you guys are liking the furniture. It's going to take me a little bit to get used to these. Um, like I said, oh, and this one's already scratched a little bit, but we'll be careful with that. Um, like I said, it's going to take me a minute to get used to how things are laid out here. And we're going to be changing a little thing, but I vow I am not going to make the table like how the dining room table is. And the dining room, speaking of which, the dining room, the dining room, I'm going to flip the light on, is not as bad as it looks. Yes, it looks like it's got a lot of stuff. That's um, just a cake stand with cake stuff that I was going to make a cake um, the other day because I felt like cake, but I didn't have the ingredients for a chocolate cake. So, again, tea we need to go through, and then there's some bags and rags, but those will all just take a second to move, and we'll be able to put, put those away. So anyway, I'm going to finish up this video. Thank you guys so much for putting up with the remodel job and everything. Um, I'm really, really happy with how my new kitchen turned out with the colors, with the ceiling fan, with the track lighting, the new table and chairs, especially. I kind of do love this hutch. I think it's the perfect size for the kitchen and for me. Do these match? No, but I'm so glad I got this in gray and not in black because I think the black would have been a little bit too much in the kitchen with the black. Now, this will be done eventually. I'm not going to, I, we've decided not to do this railing now because that actually is a part of the downstairs, going in the downstairs. So eventually that will be done. We just haven't figured out what color that's going to end up in. So that'll be a later project. So anyway, again, leave me, don't forget to hit the like button. Also the subscribe button. We're going to go right back into the cooking with video, ugh, cooking with Joel videos. They're going to start up on Friday. I'm going to do cooking with Joel videos Friday, sometimes Saturday and Sunday and maybe even Monday, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday will be when I'm going to post all of those videos for you guys. Of course, for the holidays, I'll be posting tricks and tidbits and stuff, and now that I have a nice table to sit at, we'll be doing chats at the table instead of going all over the kitchen. So thank you guys again for putting up with me. Tune in on Friday. I'm going to do the Hungarian goulash video and I will give you a list of instructions on how to do that. And I am signing off. I'll see you on the next Cooking with Joel video.